Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This Minister Paul, Watchman on the Wall, Northern California. 7.21 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on June 30th, 2016, the last day of June. We're going into July. I just need to put that out there. On uh, day 55 of urgent intercession, when I was praying, I was laying down face down and I had a vision and I kind of shared it in the a video a couple of days ago but I think uh, because of the length of the video it, it might have uh, not been the primary focus of the video so I want to share this with you with a follow-up it was 6 28 16 when I was lying down prostrate listening to worship music and praying to God that I had this vision and in this vision I saw all of these objects that came pouring out of heaven I didn't know what they were in the vision and so I just referred to them as objects or things they just all it was like heaven had opened up above me it was like I was watching a movie and all of these objects began pouring out of heaven and these objects poured out of heaven like a waterfall and then they turned into a tornado like you're seeing here and they began to spin and spin and spin and spin and all of a sudden they jerked up to like a number seven it's like the the top of the tornado or cyclone whichever one it was went over to the left tornado or cyclone went over to the left and it pour, formed a perfect number seven and the vision ended and I was astounded because it felt like it felt like a completion and so I, I, I journaled it and I shared it but uh, that night <clears throat> that night at exactly 22.02 p.m. that's 10.02 p.m. God spoke to me literally woke me up and spoke to me and this is what he said they were prayers that's all he said they were prayers he let me know that the objects that came pouring out of heaven that turned into a, a tornado or cyclone and then the number seven were pr our prayers and it was astounding it was just like a, suddenly the entire vision made sense i actually jumped up i ran in my office and i wrote it down thinking i would forget and then I went back to sleep, but I didn't forget. It was the first thing on my mind when I woke up. <clears throat> and then last night, going to bed, the Lord showed me something as an update to this, and I want to freely share this with you. He told me that it's so important what we pray, that we need to guard our mouth, we need to be careful how we pray, because anything we speak has power. And uh, what we pray is is being stored up in heaven. So if you're praying for anybody right now, be assured those prayers are in heaven. Be assured. But what's going to be answered from those prayers are God's will. And that's why and this was all given to me by Holy Spirit revelation yesterday. When the disciples asked Jesus how to pray in the Gospels, he said, pray like this, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So these prayers are stored up in heaven and they're coming back down and they're going to perform God's will. God's will is that none should perish. And there's a lot of things that are God's will that have to happen that aren't good. I mean, it's just because of sin. And part of that is these seven trumpets. And this right here, I have it in the Amplified Greek and the King James parallel. It explains clearly what the vision was showing. There's, there's seven seals. Follow me on this. The three seven the Lord's been showing me for four years. There's seven seals, seven trumpets, and seven bowls. And these trumpets are God's judgment. The seventh seal in Revelation 6 opens up the seven trumpets and then goes to bowls 
So I just, this is going to happen. The word records it's going to happen. I don't know when it's going to happen, but you need to be aware when you pray that this is going to happen. God said it, it must happen. And so it says, when he, when he the lamb, that's Jesus, broke open the seventh seal. So now he's opened up the seventh seal for Revelation 6. There was silence in heaven for about a half hour. And it says, in awe of God's impending judgment. Buckle up, saints. I'll put a link to this. Because then what he does is he takes fire mixed with the prayers of the saints. Uh, and he hurls them to earth. So the angel took the censer and filled it with fire from the altar and hurled it to the earth. But look what is in this censer, the prayers of the saints. So be sure to pray God's will. And the signal of this is going to be a great earthquake. I needed to share this with you. I have another video I need to make. Uh, may God just bless you and keep you and protect you and and uh, save your family members. And I say this in Jesus' name. Amen.